Decentralised Public Library is an Arweave initiative that forms the archive of human history component of the permaweb. So the Decentralised Public Library's task is to go out, explore the world and find data sets that would be useful and sensible to preserve forever on the permaweb. It's really important that as human society evolves, we can see where we came from and we can learn from past mistakes without knowing how past societies developed. How can we improve our own? How do we make things even better? So part of the Are We Project's goal here is to provide this diverse, culturally significant archive of human history. The decentralised public library goes out and investigates and collects this information, stores it on the permaweb, tells people about what we've stored and why it's important. So at the moment, it's a mixture of processes. We hunt down these unique or vulnerable data sets, their public domain data sets maybe, or open source data, paintings, documents, images. They'll be in these little groups of documents. So right now you can explore and you can see, okay, well, what interesting things do we think is culturally relevant today? But also for future generations, you can go back and you can find all of this wealth of, of human history altogether. Well, recently I've been working on a collection of constitutional documents. I use the Arweave web extension a lot. So the idea is we'll have as many constitutional documents as they stand right now on the permaweb. And we publish regular blog posts where we like dive into these data sets and we see, okay, well, what, what are the differences between some of these constitutional documents, for example? Where are the interesting like comparisons and contrasts we can find between the two? And we try and give people an insight into what they might find interesting and kind of encourage people to explore it on their own as well. So uh, if people want to find out more about the Decentralised Public Library, I'd suggest going to our website, decentralisedpubliclibrary.com, to get an insight into what we do and, and what our approach to all of this is. And I would definitely suggest checking out our blog on Medium because we do regular blog posts, deep diving into these data sets to see uh, what's interesting about them, why we collected them, and like, what you might like to know about them.